So, for the second video I'm doing with Roland, we were thinking of what to talk about, and the guys pointed out that there has recently been a JD800 expansion for the Jupiter X, and I said, <laughs> wow, I bet some absolute plonker is going to attempt some terrible 90s dance music with that. For drums, I'm going to use the TR909, obviously, and I've cooked up a little beat in the step edit. For bass, I've chosen the 800 bass patch, preset 105, but I've taken off the LFO modulation and some of the whistles and bells so that it's more of a straight sound. I need the kind of bass line that is annoyingly repetitive, but that somehow makes you tap your foot whilst feeling really angry about that. Perfect. For the verse section, I'm going to switch it with techno funk bass. Right, chord stabs. So these are chords triggered from a single key without you having to play all the notes. A bit like chord memory, but the intervals are programmed into the patch themselves. Minor sevenths work a charm for this kind of thing. And there's a couple of ready-made presets already in the JD800 bank. Of course there are, it was 1991. Let's layer up a couple of them. Good start. To take them to the next level, we need something to go over the top with some punch and oh my goodness, there's a bank of stabs in here. Too unlimited, eat your heart out. Right, no early 90s dance classic would be legit without some digital piano. And what do you know, there's LA midi piano just waiting for some minor seventh chords. Simply red, give me a call. Now we can't use the JD800 without using at least one pad sound as it was known as a pad machine. Let's use massive pad. I'll add some high pass filtering when I record it properly to clear out the bottom end for my annoying bass line. What else? Well, obviously some effects, and there's a pile of those in here. Yes. And obviously the Prodigy Wailing Guitar preset. Which I'll have to find a place for somewhere. And then we just need some suitably over-the-top vocals with terrible lyrics, and I'll sing those myself and use the old 90s trick of wearing a hat and shades to distract from the fact that I'm not a very good singer. Right, we've got all the ingredients, so make sure your dial-up connection is ready, your Pop-Tarts are in the toaster, and let's do it. <laughs> Yeah. 